Another part of the topic of advice theory is to understand how much would we pay for advice to know what we do. So suppose there could be such a uh, consultant that knows exactly if we're gonna succeed or not as a tennis player and how much would we, uh, would we pay to know such information? Well, again, we are dealing with uncertainty. We don't know. So we would have a expected utility from what the advisor is gonna tell us because we don't know what he's gonna tell us. All we know is that his information is gonna help us make a better decision. So we are going to have an expected utility from paying for the advice. Now, how much are we gonna pay? Well, that depends on how much expected utility would we like to have. And at most we should have, or better said, at least we should cover the expected utility from not paying for the advice, our best alternative. And our best alternative, if we don't pay for advice, if we just make the decision based on our own information, we can see that we would open the pub and the expected utility from opening the pub is a thousand units meaning that we must have at least a utility of a thousand units in expectation for paying for that advice. Now, the way the expected utility looks when we pay for the advice is going to be slightly different. So let's solve it. The expected utility from paying for the advice. We have a 0 0.01 probability, a 1% probability that we're gonna succeed as a tennis player. So we would earn 250 million dollars but then in our income, we also subtract the money that we pay for the advice. So let's call it P, the price of advice. We must subtract it because that would be the final income that we're left with and that would be the final utility, the square root of that income. Plus 0 0.99, which is the 99% probability that we fail, but the, here comes the trick. If we fail and the advisor tells us that we are gonna fail, then we would go for the certain option because the certain option has a better alternate has a better outcome for us let's have a look over here again the certain option gives us 1 million whereas the um, failure the case we fail gives us only 200,000 so if the advisor tells us that we are gonna fail if he gives us this certain information then we will have a maximum we, we will go for the certain option. So we would go for the 1 million. But again, even if that happens, we still have paid for that advice. We still have paid for the price. So we have to take into account. And this whole thing must equal to our expected utility of a thousand units, a thousand units. And the rest is just math. The rest we can, um, we, we, we can just solve mathematically. So I'm gonna spare that here because that's not the point of the video. This is a video based on intuition to understand what's the logic of this advice questions and probability questions. Um, so we would have a certain uh, price and that price would be $276,690 just for the sake of the information to finish the question. Now, one thing I'd like to stress and one thing that's very confusing to many people is this. So if we have a consultant that does not affect our probabilities, we still have the probability of 1% of succeeding. We still have the 99% probability of failing. The only thing that changes is that the advisor will give us the information. If the advisor gives us the information, we can decide better. And this is how we prove it. We saw that if the advisor tells us that we fail, we would go for the certain option. He saves us he saves us the probability of failing until the end. He prevents us from failing because that's what happens when we don't pay for the advice. We would go for the failure option, 0 0.99 times the square root of $200,000 because we didn't know any better. But now we do and we have the choice. It gives us a choice. The advisor gives us a choice to make a better decision and we would because that's the assumption. We want to be uh, strategic and make the best decision for ourselves. But the probability themselves, when we take into account the expected utility, are still 1% and 99% because in expectation, we still have this chance of succeeding and not succeeding. The only benefit is that if we do fail, if the advisor tells us that we're gonna fail, we can prevent it by going for the certain option as we did over here. Hope this makes sense and we are done.